and welcome back. So here we are, we're going to run a sketch to get information displayed on our OLED. So if we opened a blank sketch, this is what we get. So we get a void setup loop where we need to put some information. And then the void loop is where you put information or code that you want to, as it says, run repeatedly. And above the void setup, you can put more information, some comments about what the sketch is about, and uh, when you want to define some variables, etc. But we'll cover that. So we're going to close this. This was just to show you basically what the blank sketch looks like. And this is our code. So you can see there's a little bit more information. Don't be afraid of it. It's very simple once you start to understand what we're doing. So this um, angled line with a star means I'm going to put text in it. And it's all going to be text and comments until I put another star and an angled line. So you can see all this text is grayed out. And basically what it's basically telling you is that we're using the Geekcreek PCB board uh, with the OLED. In this case, we haven't yet put the HT11, I believe it is, sensor on there. This is where we get the, uh, the board from, and this is an affiliate link. So if you haven't got a board and want to join in these tutorials, you can get one on there. And it tells you that because of the strange arrangements that we found out in the last video, of the SDL and SCL pins you need to put an extra bit of code in so so we are here this is the void setup you can see above the void setup we've got this information so basically what we're doing here we are including the wire library and the wire library is a standard library I believe it's standard within the IDE um, environment so this is another library that we've want to install and uh, and use so this is the command here to include the library but we've got to make sure that our uh, library manager has actually installed the library for us to use so we go up to sketch include library library manager it brings up the library manager and this is now just updating the libraries that I have installed so as we want to install this library I can't copy and paste it so we're going to take adifruit underscore ssd1306 and here we are it's brought it up at the top and you can see mine says already installed, but yours will have an install down here or in, install here. So you will press the button and install it. Mine's installed, so we're all good. So you will just press install and then you can close. So <clears throat> the next section down is telling the program about the OLED that is on our PC board. So we've got two hash lines here, so that means it's a comment, so it just means I'm reminding myself what the code is about. So it's the OLED display wire address. We need the wire library to address the OLED. So we're going to define the address, and we found the address of the screen in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that one, I will try to remember to put a link in the video description or in this video so you can link back to that. So, now to use the screen, we need to tell the software the size of the screen that we've got to use, or we are using. So these two lines tell the Adafruit library, this library here, that we're using a screen width of 128 pixels and the screen height of 64 pixels. And we're defining the reset pin as one. So that will allow us to use this library um, later on in our program. So once we define everything here, we actually need to tell the library using this line in line 24. 
that the display is screen width and the screen width equals 128 the screen height is 64 we're using the wire library and that tells uh, the Adafruit library about the SDL and SCL pins and we are um, defining the reset pin which is number one so this is very important here important for the board that we're using that the SDL and SEL pins are not wired up as a normal um, uh, we was we was we moss mini so in the next line we are going to define our new command that we learned in the last video so within the void setup we're making a declaration to the wire library of this command so y begins 2 comma 14 which is telling the uh, library that controls the OLED to go and look at these two pins which is the SDA and SEL pins and that's gonna send its information uh, to the screen so then we need a serial begin because this is the uh, uh, this is defining the speed that we are writing to the screen I believe we can write much faster than this 9600 board rate but I'm just leaving it standard at the moment so as it says here we now need to initialize and clear the display so the way we initialize it is it means you know we're, we're telling the screen to get ready to, to receive information so display dot begins SSD 1306 underscore bloody blah, blah blah and that is just telling the screen uh, the program the address remember this address here OED address is set up here so it's this address which we found in the last video now this is uncommented at the moment and I'm going to um, take out the comments and what this will do this will as it says here send the OED and it will draw the Adafruit logo it's important to do that because Adafruit write all these libraries and it will just display their splash screen on the screen we delete these two lines as well comments for two seconds so we will get a nice Adafruit logo displayed on the screen for two seconds saying thank you very much Adafruit and then this command will clear the display and oh I must go back actually the um, this this command is actually telling the screen um, that we're going to display the Adafruit com uh, dis uh, logo but nothing actually gets displayed on the screen until you put in display display you can write as much text as you like and if you don't put display display nothing's getting put on display and we, we'll cover that in a minute so then after the Adafruit is displayed we're going to do dis clear display 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 which means clear it and delay one second now in the void loop which is the code that's going to be repeating itself again it looks very scary but it's all commented here exactly what we're doing so I want to display a pixel in each corner of the screen so this is the way that you tell the program that you want to draw a pixel so display dot draw pixel at zero zero so that's going to be the top left down corner of display the color is going to be white then the other three lines is telling it to draw a pixel at x one two at x coordinate one two seven and y coordinate coordinate zero now the reason we only go up to one two eight at uh, one two seven is because we actually counted from zero and if you remember up here we know that the screen is 128 pixels by 64 so because we're drawing one pixel at zero zero the last pixel we can draw on that line is at, at x127 one, one, so similarly we want to draw a pixel now at the bottom um, left hand corner of the screen so that's x0 y63 and then the last pixel x127 comma 63 and it's telling you here where they're going so again this is the commands that's telling you what you want to do but nothing's actually drawn on the screen yet because remember what I set up here 
the display display command is telling the screen right we've loaded all this into the memory I believe that's the correct terminology or wherever it goes and get ready to display it but we're going to do a little bit more just displaying dots I mean I, I just included this because I saw how I could do it we actually want to draw some text and the standard text everyone seems to want to display is hello world so in this section here this is where we're going to actually display some text on the screen so the first line is saying we want to use a text size 2 which is actually the second smallest text font that we can use it has six in total we need to set a color and although this is not a color screen we need to define the color so the color is white we're then going to move the cursor along 30 on the x and zero on the y and start and we then want to print the word hello <coughs> we then want to move the cursor 25 in the x and down 20 in the y and print world we're then going to change the text size down to text size 1 to smaller text and move the cursor to position 22 on the X, 42 on the Y and print it's working. Then remember we need to issue the command display display and that's the command that's actually telling the uh, the library, the uh, Adafruit uh, SSD1306 library to actually look at all this we've coded and actually send it to the screen so let's have a look at that so let's make sure that we've got our board set up right so that is board is still the d1 mini if you haven't got the board selected you would go across down here down here scroll all the way down to uh, Wemos D D1 R1. Now if you're not seeing these boards you need to go to preferences and I will copy and paste this this uh, line of text. This line of text is, is loading in the additional board managers that the Arduino IDE requires to display the ESP32 and the ESP8266. So if you haven't got that you copy and paste the JSON files in this line click OK and then when you go to boards and managers it will load in the board managers oh, this is now just going to update so just have to wait for this to update so go back to what's happened go back to boards we're on the D1 everything here is set to standard we're still on COM6. Your COM port may be different. Um, if you're not sure what COM port, if your board is already plugged in, you can unplug it and one COM port will disappear. Plug it back in again and uh, the COM port you require will come back. So everything looks good. And as long as I've coded this correctly, um, we're going to click upload. Now, this button here, the tick, that is just, if, you, if we click that now, all that's going to do is compile the sketch and that's checking the code that we've written here before you upload it to the board and that that's important because if you try to upload a sketch and it's faulty you, you would be overwriting your um, your sketch on your board so that's telling us how much information we've used and it's only a very small program you can see that we've got 26% of the storage used and we've got a maximum of oh, what's that 1 million odd bytes left so we're all good there so we're now going to press the right hand facing arrow and that's telling us here that it's uploading so we're just going to press that <coughs> it's connecting to the board the board light is flashing here to say it's receiving information and there we go we got the Adafruit logo came on for two seconds and we've got our hello world it's working text and if you look very carefully in each corner of the screen you've got a dot so if we look back at the code here this is where we're telling the screen we want to put a dot in each corner and then this is telling us that we want to draw the text where it is 
and that's it. It's working. I'm so excited. So, upload the code. Um, see how you get on. <laughs> in the next video, I'm going to do a little bit of scrolling text, just because that's another thing I learned. And in the what are going to be the fifth video, we're actually going to get the sensor working on the um, on the screen. So. That's Andy now, signing out on another video. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers for now.